Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at the Arithmetic 16 Question 7 Practice Question. And for this question it focuses on place value and understanding how the different columns work and making sure that we always make sure that we have the columns in a line. So for example, we have, uh, if we take units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, and finally millions. And if we write our answer, which is 450,080, again, making sure we're placing those digits in the correct columns. And what we can do is we can look at the numbers that have been given to us. So we, this one here is 400,000. So we've got the 400,000 here. And we've also got the 80 just in the tens. And what we can see is how the 8 has made its way down to the final answer. The 4, so the 400,000 has made its way down to the final answer. And finally, we haven't got anything for the 50,000 here, which is in the 10,000s column. So we can say that the missing value is 50,000. And just to confirm our answer, we have the 450,080. And don't forget, all these zeros are very important because they're play, what we call placeholders. And it makes sure that these other numbers sit in the correct columns to give them the correct value. And next we're on to question two. So again, if we place our column headings, that's units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, and finally millions and we look at our answer here which is one million seventy thousand six hundred and if we look at the two values that have been given to us so let's place the seventy thousand in here so we can clearly see that seven being used in the same column here we've also got the 600 here and again we can clearly see that being used in the same column and the the value that we're missing of course is this 1 million here and so what we can do sorry is we could place that million as our missing value making sure we place it in the correct column. So the missing value on question B is one million, and that includes six zeros after the one. And next, what on to question C. So let's have a look at those columns again. We've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, and finally the millions column. And we take our answer here, which is 804,002 at the end. Let's have a look at the digits that we've, or the values that we've been given. So we've been given 800,000 here, which is the value here. Next, we've been given the 4,000 which is shown in the answer, the blue answer down here in the thousands column. And then finally, we're missing this two here. So quite simply, we're missing two units, which gives us the completed, completed answer of 804,002. Now don't forget, these zeros are really important because it makes sure that these other values sit in the correct columns to give them their correct value. And finally, we're on to the fourth question, which is 7D. And again, we have our units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, one hundred thousands, and finally we have millions. And if I place my answer, my final answer, from here, over at the bottom, which is six million, three hundred thousand, and ten, 
and we can start to see how the number is built up. And the two values that are given to us, first of all, is 300,000, which we can write in, in the same, in the correct columns here, which is shown here. Next, we have the, the 10. So there's just a single 10 in the tens column. And then finally, we're missing this six here, which is in the million, millions column here. So our final missing value is six million. And that gives us the full six million three hundred thousand and ten. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.